In this video, I show you exactly how to set up your first school ad. I just take you along and you can watch me over the shoulder as I'm setting up the first ad for a brand new community. If we haven't met before, hi there, my name is Evelyn Weiss. I am a pretty big school creator myself and I also run ads for the platform. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm in Ads Manager right now and before I can create an ad, I actually need to make sure that the pixel is set up on my new community. This is my new community. It's a free community. It's basically, an SEO and AI search hub to rank my and sort my YouTube videos, right? So I have all of these free videos where I teach people about school and I just categorize them so they are more user friendly. And I also made sure that they can be found, found easily. Okay, now here, what's really important is under plugins, you need the school pro plan to run ads. You want to have your Metapixel set and on. If you don't have this, I show you right now how to set it up. So I'm just gonna disconnect it here so you can see me doing it live. Now I wanna say connect Metapixel. And what we need to do is on Meta, we need to go to the events manager, which is this icon here, events. Perfect. And in here, I want to use the same pixel that I use for Grow with Evelyn, my main community, because ultimately I also want to use that community for lead generation for Grow with Evelyn. Okay, so here now we have our data set ID, we click on it, so it's copied, we paste it in here, and then we need to go back and get our exit to access token. We do this under settings. Come here, generate access token. Copy, paste it in here. And that's it. This is how you set up tracking for school. Crazy simple, right? Next up, I'm going to my about page because I need this link and I need this copy. Heading back to ads manager here under campaigns. I will now set up my first ad by clicking on create. This has to be a sales ad, continue. I like to name the campaign after the community. So school growth free training hub. Next up, I am starting with 25 a day is a good budget. If you are on a smaller budget, minimum you can do is $5 a day, five euros. But I want to go with a little bit higher amount here and ideally I also want to scale this up. Uh, under the ad set name, I don't give this a name anymore because I'm just going to do broad targeting website selecting the data set that I just set up the tracking for. And this is not purchased because it's a free community. I'm going for complete registration here on the optimization event. Now, where do I want to advertise this community? I like to go for tier one countries. These are the countries with the highest purchasing power on Facebook ads. You can take a screenshot of this and then just go to ChatGPT and just say, write out the exact text on here. So you have all of the tier one countries. Obviously this will also depend on where you want to build audience, but I'm okay building in all tier one countries. And then all I have to do is I just paste this here. I select countries and I match the locations. Add. And then we go next. Here I want to select my page now, which is this one here, Grow with Evelyn. Um, Coaching, Evelyn Vice Coaching is this one here. And then automatically selects my Instagram and threads profile. Now we say create ad and we scroll all the way down to say set up creative. I will add first an image ad and then a video ad. So I'm gonna go back, grab my URL, paste it in here, boom. Now side links, links will come and I want to turn these off, but it won't let me here. So what I have to do is I have to actually remove all of these communities here. Now, because I have multiple communities on school, what I can do is I can, I could also paste, for example, grow with Evelyn, scale with Evelyn, etc. but they're currently on waiting lists. So there's not really a point for it. Now, all of them are removed. Now we can upload our first image. Our first image to advertise our community should just be our community image. So I'm just going to download this from school like so and I'm gonna upload it in here. And I don't care if it's not a square format or anything, this is fine. This has worked really well for me in the past. So I'm just gonna do this here. Under the primary text, I am just going 
to actually copy my about page copy. And it could be that yours need to be slightly adjusted, but mine actually also works as an ad copy here. All my free training strategies and resources in one place. Hi there, I am Evelyn, second place school winner. It, it always has something new for me up the sleeves. Click the link below and join for free now. I don't want to use the AI image generation. Usually, I just want to make sure if it's if it's not something saying something that's not true. Winner of school games. Like, why would I say that? No, see, that's an implied success claim. Jesus, they are all not. They are all embarrassing. New, you hear me? <laughs> okay, new school free school training and resource hub. That's it. We don't need to get fancier here. None on the image generation. Translated text is fine. Visual touch up is fine. Add music is fine. Text improvement is not fine. It will again do these things that are not compliant. Enhanced CTA is okay. Image is too small. Okay, let me just get the um, larger size from here. Oh, it's fine, actually. I thought so. Now, next up, I also want to add a video ad. So now I can just duplicate my original ad. I don't have so many ads in my account right now that I need to go with a certain naming convention. So I'm just gonna trash the picture here, the little trash icon I just hit. And now I say add video, next. And now I just upload this video in here. Perfect, now I go next. I don't trim anything, but I quickly wanna show you the video. So I actually asked my husband to just ask me questions because I find it hard to come across naturally on those video ads when I'm not prompted. And I think that was a nice trick here. So this is the ad. What did you do? I took all the free trainings I ever created around starting and growing a school community and I put it in a classroom so you can go through them step by step. And who are you? I'm Evelyn Weiss. I played the first ever games, came second with $81,000 in new monthly recurring revenue added in just one month. And since then, I've grown multiple successful communities. Grow with Evelyn is my largest one. It does over $50,000 a month. I'm also a school affiliate, an investor, and I run the ads for the platform. And this new community, how much is it? It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything. You can just watch. And how do I get started? All you have to do is click the link below and sign up. See you inside. See you there. Bye. Okay, so basically just introducing what the community is and why it's worth listening to me. Now the text can be the same here. Side links uncheck, turn them off. Unfortunately, they keep coming in. And then you can see that is it. I'm just going to hit publish. This is basically, this community is like a lead magnet for me. And it's also a nice opportunity to get some more SEO and platform internal and AI traffic. And it's a great brand building tool for me. And it also helps me with my YouTube strategy and getting more views on my YouTube videos. So that's why I'm doing this. I just make, want to make it easier to consume the school relevant videos off my YouTube channel. And that's why I put them in a community. All right, so I'm going to pin this here and then I'm just going to let this run. It's normal that it says no ads. If I refresh, it will say um, processing and then eventually it will approve it. And within uh, the next 48 hours, we're gonna see how to perform, how the campaign performs. And then I can make adjustments based on that. All right, that's it. This is how you set up your first school ad and I'm gonna link another video that's helpful for you. Probably the retargeting one or the how I made my first thousand dollars with the experiment where I started without an audience. See you there. Bye for now.